off the back of bronze medal success in Canada, Mark Sampson's Lionesses travel to the Far East to take part in a friendly tournament in China. Join us as we were granted access all areas for their tour. Steph's got quite a tight quads and a sort of adapters. <laughs> From kit man to treatment table, stay with us as we go inside the England camp. Welcome to China. Having arrived in China, Mark Sampson's side have little time to rest and recover following their flight, with the opening game less than 48 hours away. It's about delivering performances, it's about making sure the energy levels are right and raising our England bar as well as the individual bars. With a cup final pending back in England, resulting in several familiar faces not making the journey to Asia, the trip is a chance for new faces to impress. Samson has given four players a first senior international call-up, a decision welcomed by Chelsea star Frank Kirby. It's great that Mark brings in new players. It's great to see new faces. It's great to freshen, freshen the team up a little bit. The competition is really high, but it's healthy competition at the same time, you know? We, we, we train hard, we try and get the best out of each other and I think everyone's at the stage now where if someone's picked ahead of you, you, you know you've pushed them as far as you could. So it's not a sense that you're annoyed about it because you know you've given, given your all. So it's, it's healthy competition more than anything. Looking at the teams that we're going to be playing in China and Australia, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. I mean, you see how, saw how well they did in, in the World Cup and we played China back in Manchester and that wasn't an easy game for us. We played Australia and Cyprus and it wasn't an easy game for us either. So. You know, we, we have to make sure that we're on our game and we're, we're over the jet lag and, and we're ready to go. Thank you. With the camp coming after a long season, it's a case of running repairs for many, including World Cup hero Lucy Bronze. Well, because I've had so many operations on my knees in the past, what, three or five years. They, they just like tighten up, get stiff, swell up sometimes. So I just have to come in because my muscles get really, really tight. Yeah, she's like buttering my leg. Okay. But it actually feels like she's scraping my skin off. That's, what it, that's the best way to describe it. Just a lot of what we do is just more maintenance. So we put it on, squeeze down. Helps to lift some of the tissues. More important than any of the staff room before. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you're not on the pitch, then it's kind of pointless and I definitely wouldn't be on the pitch if I didn't, if I didn't have a physio with me. We'd have probably half a team and I'm sure most teams are like that. So it's kind of the people that you don't really see are, are normally the most important people. I'll catch you at lunch and I'll give you a time. Thank you Lucy. Thank you. Quietest session you've ever had with me. Because <laughs> of him. Match day soon arrives, and it's the turn of another unseen face to come to the fore. It might be five hours before kickoff, but kit man Neil Jones is already hard at work. Took a lot yesterday when was training, so basically the only stuff we're taking today is the match gear. All the training stuff went yesterday. What is here now? Ready? Oh yeah, ready. Okay, yeah. So can he pull up? Just a different challenge because just because of the language for a start, it's so difficult to ask people to do stuff and for them to understand what you're trying to put across. These are quite heavy. Lunch. Okay, thank you. We did that, we might be able to put the bed on as well. I'm always worried I forget something, but just have to double check and treble check everything. And coming early it always gives us a chance. If I forgot anything, I could ring somebody back at the hotel to bring it with them. All white and keepers are all purple. I'm, not, I'm deciding whether to go one to 21 or put the first 11 out first. I think I'm just going to get everything out and see how it looks and then maybe change it around. Trace, is Fran? No, not going to change. Right, so I'll put everyone's out except Fran. Who's number 12 again? Oh, Jilly, Jilly. Not ideal, but it's the best we're going to get, I think.
Dressing room ready, the girls arrive to take on the hosts. The main man. Hmm? There he is. George here, the kit man. Hello there. Check under your shorts, Henny. Check under your shorts, because I... I'll definitely put one. If it's not under yours, it's under number nine, because I thought you was nine, but I think it's under yours. Samson handed Chelsea defender Jilly Flaherty an international debut, but it couldn't stop the Lionesses falling to defeat in Yongshuan. China eventually running out 2-1 winners, but the game saw Laura Coombs and Drew Spence also get their first appearance for the country at senior level. It's important we'll bounce back, leave this trip on a win, and then hopefully look to build on that in the Germany game, and then get another three points in the Euro qualifier, which will set us up nicely for a little break over Christmas. So it's defeat for the Lionesses in their opening game, narrowly losing out to the hosts 2-1. Join us next time to see how some of the squad took their mind off defeat. <laughs> Club rivalries resume in training. Chelsea versus everyone else. Dominating it. Dominating. And we take a sneak peek at how the girls' diets have been looked after. We've had no complaints yet, which is a bonus to the woods. <laughs>